Hi, my name is Lindsay, and I'm an Applications Engineer at Hawkridge Systems. Today we're going to be covering how to set up your stock coordinate system inside of SolidWorks CAM. So we're going to start inside of the feature tree, so the SolidWorks CAM feature tree, you want to select that. And the first thing you might notice on this part is that our stock manager, if I just hover over it, it shows a sample of the actual stock that's been selected. So if my stock doesn't actually match up with the coordinate system on my part, I can easily change that. So if I want to use the bounding box option inside of my stock settings, I can change the coordinate system that's selected for that stock. And that's in the coordinate system section of SolidWorks CAM. So you see if I click on this, you'll notice that the coordinate system is right now associated with the SolidWorks coordinate system. So if we want to change that, we can go into the coordinate system button in the command manager menu, or we can just right click on the coordinate system in this list and choose edit definition. So once we open up the coordinate system options, we can go ahead and select different methods. The first one is a SolidWorks coordinate system, and the second one's user defined. So user defined is by default selected here, and that can be selected within this window. If you do select the SOLIDWORKS coordinate system, you're going to use the coordinate system that's located in SOLIDWORKS. So features, and then reference geometry and coordinate system. So in this example, we will use the user defined. And our origin point needs to be either an entity, the part bounding box vertex, or a stock bounding box vertex. You'll notice we can't really use the bounding box vertex again because this is not in the correct location. So we're going to select an entity, and it's actually selected that for us already. If you do want to select your own entity, a different entity, you can easily just select one of these vertex points here, and that will place the origin on whatever point you select. So if I select here, it's going to place it on that vertex. I'm just going to delete it here and put it back down here. So I'll highlight that vertex. It shows up in my entity selection. And then I've got three axis settings to select. So the first one is the X axis. So which direction do I want that X axis to be in? So if it is this direction here, or follows the same axis as this line or this edge, I can easily just select this line or edge. I can also select any parallel line to that edge. So if I select this line way up here, it's still going to place the X in that direction and I can easily flip it in a different direction if I want. So if I want the positive in this direction, then I can easily flip it to that side. Then I'm going to select the Y. So the Y I want on this line here. So I'm just going to select that line. And again, I just want to flip it so that it, the positive is facing in this direction. So I'm going to choose this little reverse option. And now my Y is in that direction. The Z in this case is actually in the correct direction at this point. So we don't actually need to fill this out, but if you do feel more comfortable clicking on a line to represent the z-axis, we can easily select that as well. So I can just flip that in the correct direction, and now everything's all set up. So you'll notice there are only two options that are selected, so that's really all it needs to enable this coordinate system. So once we've got that, we can choose the green checkbox, and then I've got my coordinate system defined. You'll notice that the stock manager still is set to the original coordinate system. So if I right click on that and choose edit definition and come down to my coordinate system settings. So our first option is the origin. And if I want, I can choose the fixture coordinate system. And that's the one that we actually just set up. So FCS will line us up with the correct coordinate system. And then again, I can take into account the bounding box offsets for my stock. If I choose the OK button and hover over the stock now, we're actually set up to this coordinate system that we've set up inside of the SOLIDWORKS CAM feature tree. Again, if you do want to set up your own coordinate system using the SOLIDWORKS coordinate system settings, you can come back into Features, Reference Geometry, and Coordinate System. And this is basically the same options. You're just going to select a point and then locate the axis wherever you want those to be. In today's video, we covered how to set up a coordinate system to orientate your stock correctly within SOLIDWORKS CAM. Thanks for watching.